Today I'm going to be showing you the struggles of an organic pesticide free gardener. My zucchinis have been decimated by squash vine borers, but that was to be expected because my method of pest control involves physically picking the bugs off the plant and most of the time giving them to the chickens. That does not work so hot with the squash vine borer. I am down to two plants out of the eight that I put in my garden, but that is okay and I'm going to explain to you why that's okay. We're going to go do some autopsies and some surgeries on some of these plants. I've got one plant that's been dying for several weeks now, but it's so strong it's been trying to fight back. And I thought it was bacterial wilt at first because that's taken out a lot of my cucumbers and it's spread by the squash bugs and the cucumber beetles. But after pulling it out of the ground, I looked inside the stem which was hollowed out and I saw a grub inside there, which is a definite sign of a squash vine borer. But before we do that, what is a squash vine borer? Squash vine borer is a moth that almost looks wasp-like. It's red and black in color. The moth will fly to the base of your squash and zucchini plants and it will lay eggs near the dirt at the base of the stem. When these eggs hatch, these filthy grubs will burrow into your zucchini and squash plants and eat it from the inside out. The number one sign that you got squash vine borers digging into your plant is if it's healthy one day and you come out the next day and the thing starts drooping. It's often confused with lack of water, but if you see your plants drooping like that overnight, it's time to take action. The once vibrant zucchini patch has been decimated, like I said. I'm down to two really healthy plants. I really like this plant. This plant is treating me really good. I've got one more plant on the far end over there that's doing pretty good. Now look at this. I just yanked this guy out of the ground. He wasn't looking so hot. Thought it was bacterial wilt. Didn't want it spreading to other plants. Got this guy drooping. This guy right here is showing sure signs of squash vine borer. And this one is so healthy that it was fighting back for the longest time. We're actually going to try to save this one. It does have some fresh growth in there. So we're going to see if we can save this plant from the grub that is inside it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's, that's looking like a squash vine borer as well. And even this little guy, this little stunted zucchini is showing signs that it's got a vine borer grub inside that stem. This one, when I yanked it out, I found this hollowed out stem. And that really upset me because I do check my plants for squash vine borers. The thing about squash vine borers is everybody says that these grubs are gonna dig in towards the base of your plant. That was not the case with this one. This one was four or five inches up where this guy started digging in. So this was sitting here like this. That is my vine borer hole. I keep all my zucchinis pruned for maximum production and it also helps me inspect for vine borers. This one I pruned a little late and after further inspection, you see this right there. There's a little sawdust coming out. That means that there is a grub inside this zucchini, eating it from the inside out and killing this plant. We're going to do some surgery on this plant to see if we can save it. But before we do that, let's take a look at the one that I already pulled out. And let's try to get that grub out of there and take a look at it. So here's the leftovers with that burrow in there. And you probably can't see it here. Well, there you can. You can see that little grub, little tail of that grub sticking out there. Let's get them out and take a look. I'm going to be using my paper clip that I bent into a grub extraction tool. Let's see if we can yank them out. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so nasty. Ugh. Getting them out of there, we definitely tore them up. It's lights out for this squash vine borer grub. But this is what they look like. This is the grub that is killing your plants. All it takes is one. They'll spend their time in there. They'll eat that plant from the inside out. The plant can't keep up growing. And then your plants are going to die. If you see those signs that the sawdust coming out in the hole in your plant, you know the vine borer grubs are inside it. With the bugs inside, this plant is going to die. We're going to try something that may save the plant's life. Doesn't work all the time, but the plant's going to die anyway, so we might as well try it. So you're going to need a sharp razor knife. 
I have another knife on standby. And then our grub extraction tool, the paper clip with the end bent. Make sure you sterilize all your tools really good before using it too. Just like any good surgeon, you should have sterile tools when you're hacking into your patient. I'm gonna start out small here with the razor knife. Where this hole's at, I'm gonna go about one inch in front of it, kind of even where it is on the stem, and I'm gonna make a big slit in this stem. So I got a big incision here, and I actually started trying to split the plant a little bit. We are gonna damage the stem in this process, but there's gonna be a way to fix it. What we gotta do now is get that grub out of there. So I have split this, and still no sign of that squash vine borer, but I can see it's burrowing its way up. So we're gonna have to cut even further with this one. All right, at this point we got this stem chopped wide open, and I don't see any channeling going up. So I started working my way down. And look what we got. Look at you in there. Right where my thumb's at, hanging out. So let's see if we can use our hook here and get that bug out of this plant. Oh, here it comes. Right there. Squash vine borer larva. When you're doing this, keep checking. A lot of times, there are more than one. I actually got, oh look at that one. Another one inside there. That's the good thing about this. Even if you can't get them out, you're gonna chop these things to ribbons and kill them. And that's what we're trying to do. We at least wanna kill these things. This was a severe case. I could not split this enough to get the vine borer larva inside. So we've really hacked this stem up. We're gonna still try to fix it. We're gonna take some dirt and we're gonna cover this wound up. And these zucchinis sometimes will reroot themselves. Just like that, put the dirt on top of that wound. A little bit more of this stem here. Hopefully we get some more roots forming and the damage wasn't too bad. I don't have high hopes for this one. These bugs have been here way too long. I'd call and make the arrangements. This thing might be going to yard heaven when I have to pull it up when it dies but this is the best we can do to get these out of the plant and what we did by getting these grubs out of the plant is we ensured that they do not turn into more vine borer moss to hurt more of our plants that's how we can attempt to save our plants but what can we do to prevent these first thing you can do is some aggressive pruning on your zucchinis all these leaves below the flowers and any fruits you got forming, aren't doing anything to help this plant. I chop all these off. Doing so makes it a lot easier to inspect this plant for vine borers digging in, and most importantly, you wanna look around the base of the plant for the eggs. You gotta check every day, unlike I did, cause you miss a couple days and they're gonna hatch and then they're gonna dig into your plant. We want to find the little eggs they lay on the sides here and crush those eggs before they have a chance to dig into your plant. The next thing you can do is start your plants late. You want to get out there, you want to throw the seeds in the ground right after the danger of frost is gone. You don't have to do that with zucchinis. I'm actually on my second round of zucchinis right now because I knew a lot of these would get taken out. But zucchinis favor hot weather. When you plant the seeds when the soil's warm, they grow a lot faster. That way, when those moths are flying around looking for squash and zucchini plants to kill, yours aren't even there yet. They're gonna go hurt somebody else's squash and zucchini, and that's gonna be their problem. But at least it's not gonna happen to ours. If you wanna do double crops like I did, you can still plant your zucchinis at the same time. You are gonna get the vine borers when you plant early. It didn't matter, I still got a lot of zucchinis out of these plants before they got killed. But if you're gonna do that, make sure you inspect these for vine borers because you don't want those grubs to hatch out of your plants and spread to your second round of crops. Which leads to the next point. If vine borers have destroyed your zucchinis, just grow more. I have several squash and zucchini 
that I planted and all these new mounds in here to take over for all the plants I lost. So this is going to take me to the end of the season. I'm in southeast Michigan and these went in about maybe two and a half, three weeks ago or so. It's towards the end of July now. Planted these early July. They're going to make it to the end of the season and I will be getting zucchinis and squashes off of them. Another trick to try is wrapping tin foil around the base of your stem. The only problem with that is I did that on this plant and look at this. It did not matter. There is a vine borer grub inside this plant that I got to get out. So that method might work for some people, did not work for me. Diatomaceous earth spread around the base of your plant and this stem here could help too as long as you keep up with it if the rain washes it off. I've used it one time all season on my plants. It didn't do much to stop the squash bugs and the cucumber beetles. That's what I was really using it for. And like I've said, I'm, I'm trying to stay 100% natural so I probably won't be using it again. If those eggs do hatch, which they shouldn't, because you should be looking at these every day to knock these eggs off, when those grubs come out and they hit that diatomaceous earth, it's going to chop them up and they're going to die. There's also another method that I can't really comment on because I haven't done a lot of research with it, but you take a hypodermic needle and there's something you inject into the plant and then as the grub feeds, it kills it. I definitely don't like that idea. I'm sure it's effective, but another thing that's not for me. So for the rest of the season, I'll be hanging out here, killing pests, and hoping my next round of plants comes in and takes me to the end of the season. Hopefully this video gave you some insight about this nasty squash vine borer. If you have any insight on it or tips that helped you out, drop them in the comments so everybody can read them. We could all help each other out. I gotta get back to doing some more surgery on these guys. So as always, thanks for watching.